All right, first open up Discord and go to the settings. Go to data and privacy and turn on this use data to improve Discord option. Apparently, if you don't surrender your privacy to Discord, you have less chances of getting the active developer patch. All right, next, go to this GitHub repo. Link will be in the description. Thanks to this user who made it easier to get active developer patch on Discord. Plus, the instructions are provided in this repo description. First, go to Replit and log in or create an account. Now click on this option to import code from GitHub. Paste the active dev GitHub repo link here. After that, click on import from GitHub. Once it's done, go to Discord and create a brand new server. After that, go to the server settings and enable community. Next, go to Discord developer portal and create a new app. Here on the left side, go to the bot section, click on reset token. Next, go back to Replit and click on run. If you already created a new Discord server and enabled community, click Y. After that, you need to enter your Discord bot token. Copy the token and paste it by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and V together. You'll get an invite link to add the new bot to your newly created server. Now you need to go to the server and run slash active command. As we can see, it says right here, you need to wait 24 hours before you receive the patch. You can periodically go to this link and check if you have gotten the patch claim page. Once you are able to claim the badge, you will see something like this on this page. Here, first you need to select the app, and then the server. You can choose any server text channel here, and then click on claim. And now, I successfully have claimed my active developer discord badge. There's another way of doing it locally on your system without using Replit. If you want that tutorial, leave a comment down below. As usual, thanks for watching. If the video helped, make sure to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. See you in the next one.